Here's Kinta Share bike app. So this is a new bike sharing app in Copenhagen, or I guess also in Denmark and maybe some few other European countries soon. Uh, they get in some nice good deals because they just launched the app. So it's a nice opportunity for you to, uh, yeah, to get it running. Um, so yeah, let's just take a look. Uh, so if you just open up the app, you will see uh, the onboarding process while you sign up quite fast. And then you just basically see all the locations of the bikes around you. Uh, you can just tap on the bike and all right. And then you can see, all right, here is the, the bike parking places, uh, one bike available. You can see the address. You can also just go and reserve the bike. You can see uh, then there are, there are like, if there are multiple bikes at that station, you will see preferred bike, which is like the, the most affordable bike is the best range uh, here. Uh, and that's the idea. Uh, then you have your menu. You can also switch to the car where uh, when there is like a Kintoshir uh, uh, Nordics where you can just basically select a car and get that car. So that's that's another thing like uh, uh, you can just also book a car. So that's a, a, a one company here, similar as you have Bolt. Uh, yeah, but in, in Kinto app, you are not ordering a taxi. You are just basically kind of renting a car. So that's a bit different. Then there are discounts. You have discount code, which you can add here. Like for example, in Copenhagen, there are a lot of new discount codes for bike sharing where you can get like uh, two rides for free or stuff like that. And then, yeah, you just have your account, for example, uh, uh, you can also then report uh, some problems with the app and then also you can check out pricing here. Um, two points, so 10 Danish Krona per unlock, which is quite standard, and then 255 per minute. Uh, then there is a promotional code, uh, which you can add here. Uh, so, yep, that's basically the idea. Um, then you can just, you, you know, manage your places, add some favorite places. And then, yeah, you can also just scan the bikes. There aren't that many bikes yet for, for this app in, in the area, uh, unfortunately. Uh, you know, there, there will be more bikes soon, I guess. But yeah, that's what it is. Let's just compare it, for example, to Lime, which is also a popular app here. And then, yeah. Um, so then let's just, so here, So yeah, maybe you can just tap on the bike and then here, I would just, I just wanted to compare the prices. Oops, this app is quitting itself. So yeah, it's basically the same, the same price, 10 krona to start and 255 krona per minute, kind of the same price. Uh, yeah, but with, with the, with the Lime Pass, you're getting like free unlock, for example. So that's the idea. So yeah, as you can see, that's what it is. That's the new app, Kintoshare. And then there's Kintoshare Nordics to, to reserve a car. So try it out.